October marks the beginning of a critical period for water supplies here in Virginia. During the summertime, high temperatures increase evaporation rates and the moisture that does fall has little opportunity to soak in past the topsoil layers. And this summer, especially so because of the record high heat. But as the temperatures drop, so does the evaporation of moisture from the soil. That means precipitation during colder months of the year has a chance to make it past the surface and penetrate into the deep soil and groundwater system. We also shift from relying on often scattered thunderstorm activity for most of our moisture to having larger scale winter storms bring precipitation to large areas at a time. Although rainfall this summer was spotty and often scarce, widespread precipitation from this past winter helped to keep groundwater reserves looking good. And it wasn't until later in the summer that we started seeing some serious water supply problems when reservoirs like this one started dropping. In a typical winter, the upper air flow will steer a number of storms into Virginia, bringing us plenty of precipitation in its various forms. Unfortunately, some winters don't cooperate, and those moisture-bearing systems will be guided away from us. So this winter, remember that those leaden skies with days of cold rain can come in mighty handy when it gets warm again. And I'm Jerry Stenger with the Climatology Office at the University of Virginia, wishing you plenty of gloomy, rainy skies this winter.